In this video, we will be discussing how to test for solvent compatibility with the MSA varnish. For this test, we will need nitrile gloves, MSA varnish gloss, clear glass containers with lids, a palette knife, permanent marker, and the solvent to test. The first example will be with a compatible solvent, 100% pure mineral spirits. Pour some of the MSA varnish into the container, then mark this level. Slowly add the solvent to be tested until it reaches your mark. Begin stirring the mixture thoroughly with the palette knife. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. A compatible solvent should easily mix into the varnish and generate a homogeneous mixture with good clarity. Now let's look at an incompatible solvent. This time, we will be using low odor mineral spirits. This solvent is not recommended for thinning MSA varnish and is being used for demonstration purposes only. Slowly add the solvent to the fill line. The first indication of incompatibility is the clouding where the solvent and the varnish meet. Begin stirring. Notice how cloudy the varnish mixture becomes. Regardless of how long this mixture is stirred, it will not clarify, indicating this solvent should not be used with MSA varnish. As an extreme example of solvent incompatibility, we will create a mixture using odorless mineral spirits. The solvent creates unusable mixtures that should be disposed of properly. It is not recommended to ever use odorless mineral spirits with MSA varnish. Please do not recreate this demonstration in the studio. The solvent is added to the fill line. Once again, there is noticeable clouding where the solvent and varnish meet. The low strength of odorless mineral spirits is due to the reduced amount of aromatic solvents producing an immediate thickening of the MSA varnish. As the mixing continues, the gelatinous mass continues to grow. Obviously, this mixture is not acceptable for any use. 